On top of all that you're doing musically, and with all of your speaking and now podcasting engagements, I understand that you're taking language learning to the world now. What is Fluent Worlds that I've been reading about, and what and how are you doing this, my friend? Well, you know, I took two years out of my career to go serve the Lord on the mission, and I went down to Santiago, Chile, so I'm fluent in Spanish. I was recently approached by a guy named David Bradford and his wife, Dr. Linda Bradford. They are my, they're basically next-door neighbors to my Uncle Donnie. And the cool thing is, is that I met with them, and they said, we got to show you. They said, are you into video games? I said, well, my kids are, but I, I've always loved video games. He says, I want to show you this, this app that we have, and it's a virtual 3D world created to help people learn English. Wow. But on top of that, they have a whole suite that got Fluent Academy, where we're able to have language lessons in there in this 3D environment. Uh, they also have a new app coming out in April, which is called Fluent Now. It's in beta, so all your listeners can test this out for free. Fluent Now, go go download it right now. But the cool thing is, it's going to be like the Uber of language training. So say there's somebody in, in Germany, like my friend I just talked to on the radio here. She could have the app, and the cool part is that she could become like my tutor in teaching me how to say the words just right. And and the nice thing is that she's going to be compensated for her time in being my tutor. So just like a, an Uber driver, you can find and connect with somebody that speaks the language that you want to learn immediately. That's called Fluent Now. But right now, just I'm really proud of this, Fluent Worlds is actually the number one highest rated English learning app in the world. Wow. And we got a 4.9 on the Apple App Store, and uh, I'm getting noisy. I'm actually running the whole uh, YouTube channel for this company in sales and marketing and helping them to get noisy because I'm a noisy guy. But I've always loved languages. I've sung in about 11 different languages uh, throughout my career. I, in fact, that last song I sang in Hebrew. Eloi, Eloi, lama sabachthani. So I threw that in there. Oh. I said, I've always wanted to do something cool like that. And that was one of my very first gospel songs that's coming out on a new album uh, coming out just in April. So right before Easter. Uh, so keep an eye out for that song, Gethsemane. But uh, thank you guys for playing it. You actually got the world's first exclusive. That was the first. Uh, thank you. I love that. So you're oh, the yeah. first to hear it, you guys. Uh, oh. well, we love we love that. And we love Nathan Osmond. Listeners, sure again, does. our numbers.